beautiful Sunday to all the people of Asteroid Bike Club and Earth. And I want to let you know we've had a big, bad, beautiful bevy of solar flares. It's a literal solar flare frenzy over the last few days. And so when the sun acts weird, Earth weather acts weird, and people kind of lose their minds. And then you throw on a total supermoon, lunar eclipse, blood moon coming in three days. And so, yeah, get ready for the final week of May Day, May 2021 to be super duper crazy. We've still got a lot of moisture that continually streams into parts of Louisiana and Texas and then up into the north. And that will probably continue for a while. We are on watch now for storms that are pushing through this part of the United States of America. And we saw some tornado spin ups in Colorado and Nebraska. Severe weather will continue tomorrow souther and easter and the elevator of moisture will just continue this is the day after tomorrow and man did my prediction that cryptocurrencies would get crushed in the middle of may when jupiter moved into pisces with neptune leaving crypto bros and aquarius all alone with saturn um a lot of the crypto space has lost about 50% of what it was valued at about two and a half weeks ago. And these are crazy days indeed. But I am staying optimistic because God is great and you are pretty awesome too. And I don't really have any crypto. So, you know, that's doesn't majorly affect me when crypto crashes. Erica Palomero. Active Region 12824 is continuing to release flares and coronal mass ejections seen here. Some of this activity that is coronal mass ejections, if they have an earth directed component, may reach us in a couple of days. And so, yeah, I think we're going to get hit right in the face with a couple partial coronal mass ejections. Industrial engineer Arrin Quiorres, the core two chart shows that three coronal mass ejections partially directed to Earth, two will arrive on May 26th. And the last will arrive on May 25th. Wow, they could interact on their way. Difficult predictions. And so yeah, totally. So they'll pretty much be arriving uh, Lunar Eclipse Day. So, you know, expect wildness and weirdness. But sometimes the energy can be really good. So we'll have to see what happens. Stay tuned and stay cool. As you can see here, we've had a lot of solar flares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And like three of them were M-class. When will we get our first X-class? Probably soon, buddy. Probably pretty soon. Within the next couple months, by the end of summer would be my guess. And so, yeah, we'll be getting hit with a couple coronal mass ejections. I'm not putting out any doom, not by any means. Although, I do think if we don't get our shit in gear sun at some point could get pissed off at us for mistreating ourselves and the animals and the planet and just knock out our whole power grid because you know the sun works through god okay so you know let us all try to turn this weird situation around and stop being at war with each other but here we're watching earth is the little yellow dot bam but you can see it is going to have quite a few big bursts of solar plasmatic magnetic energy fired straight at it so we know for a fact the end of the month is going to be crazy today saturn just went retrograde and then on the 29th mercury goes retrograde so then everyone's communication skills will take a couple steps backwards people will misinterpret what each other is saying and so people have bigger chance to be dicks and by that i mean detectives but hey try not to freak out and try not to freak out on other people. We are all going through this together, and all of us are dealing with some type of crisis in one way or another. Last night, I spent like two hours talking to a mother of three who was, was in the army, and then I spent about two hours talking to a soldier from Fort Hood who also had three kids. And these days, it definitely feels like we are all on duty all the time. So once again, I ask everybody to stay cool. And remember... None of us started these thousand-year wars, so it is a great time for teamwork. I mean, Asteroid Fight Club is literally here to protect Earth, the people, the planet, and the animals. And 
to prevent civilization from collapsing. And I think the sun is our friend in helping send us good energy when we need it. So we got this, and this isn't even fully facing Earth yet. It has been super active. And then we have new sunspot, 2825, which has just formed. So it's all very exciting. And I gotta say, man, if all the crypto bros who made millions hadn't been such kind of jerks, you know, have fun staying poor, people wouldn't probably be dunking on y'all all the time so hard. And maybe in a while, I'll give you guys a full breakdown on all my thoughts about what is going to happen. Remember, in the crypto space, it can get a whole lot worse before it gets a whole lot better. And do you remember when I said, hey, man, 2021 is like a volcano advent calendar where Mother Nature just kind of gives us a brand new center stage star volcano every single month? So I guess it was last month that Iceland was the big ticket story, the volcano. And so for May, we got Congo's Mount Niragongo volcano erupting for the first time in nearly 20 years, sending lava onto a major highway as many of the residents of nearby city of Goma have been trying to flee. And the bad news is we're part of the cycle where the volcanoes are starting to kill people. We, had, we lost a few people last year. The volcano erupted off New Zealand. And then, unfortunately, there were casualties in the Congo volcano eruption and the chaos, and so we lost 15 people. And then China reported that three people died in the 7.3 earthquake that happened a few days ago. And so, which volcano will go next? I think you'll know I have my eye on the west coast of the United States. I think there's definitely over a 90% chance we'll see that uh, come alive this year or next year. But yeah, snow is still around, and I definitely think we'll see snow in some spots in the USA during June. There's another bold prediction for you, buddy. And we'll probably see more tornadoes. Though I wouldn't guess in Kansas and Oklahoma. I think they're going to be in different places other than that. I think this was in Colorado today. Weather Dak reminding us that technically hurricane season's here unofficially. But officially, hurricane season starts in about a week. Um, but I still think Asteroid Fight Club, Atmospheric Defense Team, and Prayer Warriors we're going to help us do a good job this year, but everybody get prepared either way. Hey, even though you have some snow, a lot of volcanoes erupting, and there are a lot of volcanoes erupting on Earth right now, usually brings record heat. And so there's a record heat wave across the Russian Arctic earlier this week, and it has now developed across the Arabian Peninsula, including Saudi Arabia, Oman, United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Iraq, and southern Iran, with temperatures reaching almost... 150 Celsius, which translates to very hot. And hail sizes have been lit and will probably stay lit. And I think the hail sizes during 2021 have been a bigger story than the tornadoes so far. But hey, man, if you want to keep on chasing tornadoes, you do you, I'll do me, and hopefully everybody will be happy. 21 people died Saturday in China while participating in an ultra marathon that was struck by drastic changes in weather. Temperature wise, we are definitely going to keep an eye out on earthquakes during the eclipse that will happen at the end of this month. And then we get another solar eclipse on the 10th of June. Yeah, Russia broke its heat record today in May for 104 degrees. That's hot for Russia. Yeah. And it's so crazy. John F. Kennedy used to be obsessed with venus and russia used to be obsessed with venus and then at some point nobody ever started nobody talked about it nobody sent any drones there nobody sent any satellites there and we sent everything to mars that's so weird oh and also over the summer they're supposed to have that ufo government disclosure and i'm still up in dfw helping my mom move so i'll continue to keep you guys posted things have been weird Things will continue to stay weird. And, and the sunken continent that New Zealand sits upon is much older than first thought and has now been con conclusively linked to an ancient supercontinent that existed more than a billion years ago. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a very long spring. And I definitely think it's going to be a hot and humid summer, at least for people in the South. All right, sizzling summer like weather in the East this week. Time to break out your flip flops and shorts. So, everybody, get ready stay cool and i will do my best to keep you guys informed i love you guys i appreciate y'all 
Let us please close out May strong. Stay cool in the face of all weirdness. It's going to get weirder. And remember, God is great. You are awesome. And Asteroid Fight Club has done an amazing job. Once again, shout out to the Army, who has helped civilization stay standing. You know, they do a lot of the hard work. Uh, they do a lot of the grunt work, that, and that they get very little credit. Though they have done an amazing job for a very long time. And so when they asked Elon, who does he like, like cryptos or the dollar? He was like, I prefer the cryptos. I'm like, why are you hating on the dollar so much, man? Didn't the dollar in America help you become the richest man on the planet? I'm just still trying to figure out why. You know, him and Kim.com are like, we hate the dollar. Just interesting, you know. But I thank God and Asteroid Fight Club for another Sunday and another week. And let's get ready to start another week and make it through another May Day May. You guys are great. I love you. Stay cool. Talk to you all soon. Peace out. God bless everyone.